It's like I needed permission from other people and that was the biggest mistake I almost made. So I want to tell you this, you don't need permission from anyone that you're going to make it, that you're going to crush it, that you're going to kill it, and that you're going to become who you need to become. You need to give yourself permission right now on this video. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven toxic habits that'll make you weak and poor. These are going to be things right now. And I wrote down a couple things. I put better life. Who in here wants to have a better life? Okay, I know you do. Number two, make more income. Who wants to make more income? Come on, man, let's make some more income. How many of you guys wanna make more impact and more influence on this world, which means AKA you wanna be a leader, okay? So the title of this video is Seven Toxic Habits That Will Make You Weak and Poor. Now as I go through these seven, I wanna tell you what I want for you. Right now there's a massive shortage of leadership in this world, not only in the community, not only in families, but also in companies, okay? My life truly is a ministry. You say, well, what does that mean? Well, in church they go and they change people's lives and I obviously I'm a Christian, I love God with all my heart when I started my business. My business was to change the way that I did things in life so I could help more people get their best lives. So I live by a certain standard. I live by a certain way with my family, my wife, my kids, my team. And then obviously there are no limits. So these seven things, if you'll pay attention, I will make you the greatest leader on planet earth. All right, guys, so number one is gonna be stop trying to impress people. This is the number one thing that I see that crushes other people. Instead of you doing something for you and what you know you need to do, you're trying to impress other people, so you're doing things for other people. You don't wanna do that. In the beginning, you gotta take care of yourself. I need you to write this down. What are my priorities? What are the most important things in my life? These are things that ruin your life trying to live for other people. I promise you this right now. If you think back over your life, the times in your life that you knew you needed to do something and you wrote down what I'm gonna do but then someone else influenced you to do what it is that they think you should do and you went and did that nothing ever freaking worked I decided at 39 years old I'm 44 right now 39 years old I said dude I know what I need to freaking do like I've been alive for 39 years and I wrote it down and when I finally started to do what it was that I needed to do and I stopped impressing all these other people and the crazy thing is is that when I did what I needed to do the people that I was trying to impress they got mad at me I got successful and those people aren't even with me no more come on man I'm guaranteeing you right now stop trying to impress other people do what it is that you know you need to do It'll make you fulfilled and it'll make you proud of yourself when you look in the mirror because you know you're on the right journey, you're on the right path, okay? So don't try to impress other people. This is the common number one problem that I see that people make. All right, number two, this is a big one right now. So write this down, stop asking for permission. Okay, what does that mean? Write this down, AKA validation. So what I learned is that in the beginning when I started my new business, and I'm just gonna use this as an example. 39 years old, I decided to stop being a W2 employee. I started my own business, I started the Elliott Group. And I remember that some people would be like, oh dude, you're gonna make it, you're gonna kill it, you're gonna do so good. And other people are like, oh my God, man, sales training, self-development, it's a saturated market, you don't wanna do that, you're not gonna make it. You know, I would stay what you're doing now, what you got now is a good thing. It's like I needed permission from other people and that was the biggest mistake I almost made. I looked in the mirror one day and I remember looking at myself and I go, do I need validation from anyone else that I'm capable of pulling this off and doing this? No, it feels good. I like it, who, who doesn't like someone to believe in them? But you know what I realized? I didn't need validation from anybody. I realized that along the way, if I was gonna do anything hard, there were gonna be people that believe in me today and probably in six months from now, they're not gonna believe in me no more. And if those people believe in me today and that's the only reason why I feel good enough to go do what I'm gonna go do today because they believe in me, well in six months when they stop believing in me, then I'm not gonna believe in me no more because I found validation in their belief and not my own. So I wanna tell you this, you don't need permission from anyone that you're gonna make it, that you're gonna crush it, that you're gonna kill it, and that you're gonna become who you need to become. You need to give yourself permission right now on this video. Forgive yourself for your past, forgive yourself, and give yourself permission to go live a big badass life and become who you wanna become right freaking now. Everything is from today forward, write that down, from this day forward, you're giving yourself permission. You don't need validation from anyone else. This will make you one of the most dangerous human beings on planet Earth. You don't need validation from anyone. I believe in you, take that validation, okay? Now go believe in yourself and let's kill it. Let's get to number three. 
All right, so number three is gonna be stop watching the screen so much. Write that down, stop watching the screen so much. What does that mean? I don't even have a phone on me, but it's, it's, it's a phone. It's, it's not even just the TV, it's, it's, the, it's the phone. So people go to bed on a screen, they wake up on a screen, they're at work on a screen, they're driving down the road in the car, they're on a screen, they're out at dinner with their family and they're supposed to be spending time with their wife, their kids, and their friends, they're on a screen. They're always on a screen. Guys, screens are toxic. So you gotta make sure right now, if you're watching this, one of the biggest death falls of all these, of all seven of these, of all seven, I think the greatest one of all of them is the screen. That screen, instead of you living life and going out and doing what it is you need to do and getting your endorphins firing by kicking ass in life, people get their endorphins fired by this screen. This screen is the death of most entrepreneurs. It makes you weak, it will make you poor, and I promise you, if you can beat it and you can get off of it, you will crush it and have a great life. So, is it necessary to run your business and use your phone sometimes? Absolutely. Is it okay for you to watch 20 minutes of social media a day to get content in that makes you greater? Yeah, is it okay for you to watch on your screen a little bit of time to train? Yes, but get off your screen. Cut your screen time in half, and I guarantee you're gonna make more money, and literally all this negative stuff is gonna disappear out of your head. Let's get on to number four. All right, number four is gonna be stop being broke. You say, well, duh. No, let me explain what I mean. So most, most people, they, they need to make more money, but at the end of the day, it's not that you need to make more money, you also need to stop spending stupid money. Okay, so I want you to understand something. In the beginning, when I started getting into the self-development journey, I was going through my bank account and I was literally looking for all the things that I was spending money on that was useless because I wanted to spend that money on self-development now, right? And when I took a highlighter and I went through each thing, I, I was like 7-Eleven, 78 bucks. Dumbass, why did I spend $78 in a 7-Eleven? I would go through, I spent 300 bucks here in the mall. Didn't even need that. Had four pair of shoes, I bought a fifth one. You may say, well, I wanna buy nice stuff. Hey, if you wanna go to another level, if you wanna stop being poor, you gotta understand, once you own money, money doesn't own you no more. Once you can make these decisions, once you can control your addictions, your habits, and your discipline, and your focus, Boom, you go to the next level. So if you wanna stop being broke, which is what I'm telling you to stop being broke, you gotta make sure that there's making money and then there's spending money. And if you wanna stop being broke, I want you to go through, go through your bank statement, I want you to highlight everything that you can that you feel like, hey, I didn't have to spend that money and stop spending it. You got it? And then guess what happens? That money will accumulate in your account. You can actually re-self invest that into yourself or spend that into something that actually matters that's an asset or save for cash. You got me? Okay, so how can you uh, stop being weak? How can you stop being poor? Stop being broke. How do you do it? Just make sure that making more money obviously is common sense, but also stop spending money on stupid shit. Okay, you guys got me? All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay guys, number five, you know that I'm gonna be a big advocate of this one, and you may not wanna hear this, but it's the truth. Stop eating like crap. Are you guys a Ferrari? Are you a Bugatti? Are you a freaking Lamborghini? What are you? I mean, are you a badass lifted Ford diesel? Let me ask you a question. If you go put cheap gas in a Ford diesel, what happens? In a big, big badass diesel, what happens? They don't run. Because diesels don't run off gas. What happens if you go buy a supercharged engine and you go freaking put 84 in it? Dude, it ain't gonna run right. Okay, it may run, and some of you guys right now, you may say, Andy, listen, I don't like it when you talk about fitness and all this stuff. Let me explain how this works. You got one body, okay? God gave you one temple, he gave you one life, it's your job to take care of your body. You only get one, once this one's done, it's done. The way that you operate, the way that you run, whether it's high, it's low, it's fast, it's quick, it's strong, it's weak, whatever it is, it's all up to you based on the food that you put in your body. guys. One of the biggest, strongest anti-aging things that you can have in your body that'll make you healthy is muscle. So yes, exercising and working out is obviously super important, but the food that you put in your body, there's your skin, there's your muscle, and then there's a thing in between called your fat. And then there's your brain, okay, so you wanna limit that down, okay, because you can move quicker, have more agility, have more energy, be healthier, be able to do the work that you need to do and live the lifestyle that you wanna look in the mirror and be proud of yourself. But then there's also this thing called your brain. And your brain, it needs good food, it needs good nutrients to operate right. So stop eating like crap. You guys got me? Eat good foods. You guys know about decision making 101. Cheeseburger, grilled chicken. Okay, steak, okay, you feel me? Steak, steak fajitas. No, you trash the freaking tortilla, you just eat the steak. Like there's just, 
Little decisions like this, how you do the little things is how the big things work out, okay? If you say, Andy, I wanna be a multimillionaire, of course you do, can you eat clean? Can you eat clean, can we start here? Okay, because that actually, that, that front loaded decision is actually gonna play off on the backside too, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, okay? So my goal is with you guys is to build you to be legends, the greatest leaders ever. You're gonna have walking billboards, eat clean, people will respect you more, you'll love who you are. When you look in the mirror, you'll be proud of yourself, your brain will function better, okay? Eat clean food. Gotta eat clean, quit eating crap. All right guys, number six, stop letting the world control your thoughts. Look, I want you to write this down. Stop letting the world control my thoughts and then I want you to write, write down underneath that, the greatest responsibility that I have in my life is to control my thoughts. That's your greatest responsibility is to control your thoughts. I'm gonna give you this so you understand this. This is your, this is your brain, this is your mind, this is your mind. Your mind isn't this big, your mind's this big. Your mind has 70 to 80,000 thoughts that go through today. Your brain, your mind, constantly deletes information all day long. You need to understand this. Most people repeat Groundhog Day every single day. It's the same things every day. 80% of their thoughts are all negative. I want you to dump out your brain. I want you to wash your brain. I want you to get all these thoughts out of it. And then I want you to fill it back up with good stuff, positive things. All that nasty cortisol, stress, worries, anxiety, dump it all out. Fill it back up with, man, ain't I lucky to be alive? You know what, there's a lot of people right now that don't have this opportunity in life. You know, today's their last day, but this ain't my last day. I'm young, I'm healthy, I got a lot of life left, I got a good wife, I got great kids, I got this awesome opportunity, I can't believe I'm alive in this era. You got all these thoughts right now. You got these things that operate in your head that determine how your life go. If, if you're thinking something, you're experiencing that in your life right now. If it's negative, you're experiencing negative. If it's positive, you're experiencing positiveness, okay? Your mind, the greatest responsibility in your life is to control your thoughts. Everything is happening just as it should, all for good, and everything is going in the direction you wanna go in. It. And, and life is hard, just be, be totally aware. Life is hard, you're gonna have a lot of things that happen that weren't expected. And there's gonna be some things that are gonna happen that are just, they're just, they're just gonna, gonna wanna tear you apart. You know what I want you to know? I want you to know, man, this is gonna give me an opportunity to, to grow. This is gonna give me an opportunity to show myself and my family how strong I am, to show everybody an example of what a great leader looks like. This is gonna give me an opportunity to trial and tribulation hardship, which if I ever want a big life, if I wanna build a big business, if I wanna make a lot of money, there's gonna be a lot of problems. So I gotta make sure that I can handle these problems with peace. Guys, the more successful you get, the harder life gets. And if you learn to handle this hardship with good thoughts, with a good way of thinking and with a strong mind, it never gets hard. I, I never have worries. Guys, I honestly am excited to solve problems. Entrepreneurship is problem solving. So every day I have hundreds of problems that come up. Every one of them, I'm like, man, I get a chance to solve this. I never look at it for bad. I just wanna tell you if it was up to the world to control your thoughts and to tell you how to think, they would absolutely have you be the most negative person on planet Earth. So you have to take control of your thoughts. You have to decide to see how you're gonna see life, to see how this world sees you and see how you see this world. Your perspective, I think, is one of the greatest things that you can have and that you will ever have to determine if your life is good or bad or if you become successful or if you don't. Or if you become successful, whether you keep it and you don't lose it all. Does that make sense? So don't let this world control your mind. On this video right now, dump out all those thoughts, okay? Recreate, alter your identity, fill up your mind with whatever you want. And by the way, here's a hack. If you wanna fill up your mind with good thoughts, plug into good information, plug into leadership, plug into positive stuff, plug into things that make you greater. Does that make sense? Don't plug into crap. And just by the way, plugging into it also, like plugging into this right now, also make sure you're plugged into good people, okay? You can't plug into good stuff and go be around loser friends that are negative, that complain, that are whiners, okay? So I love you guys. Remember this, your, th your mind, it's yours. You're the gatekeeper to it. What are you gonna let in it? All right, let's get to the last one. And guys, here we go, number seven. Stop spending time with weak people. I want you to write this down. Take an audit of everything in your life, of everyone in your life, and of everywhere you go in your life. I want you to take an audit of this. 
And I want you to look at the people that surround you in these situations. You gotta audit them right now. Are you around weak people? Are you around people that don't believe that you can become great? Are you around people that don't want you to grow? Are you around people that don't believe in you? Are you around people that constantly do stupid stuff who literally put your future in jeopardy? Are you around people who aren't who you wanna become? Guys, can I give you the biggest success hack in this world? Never take advice from people that you don't wanna become. Never take advice from people that you don't wanna be. And don't hang out with people who aren't who you wanna become. This is why they say, if you're not around people that inspire you, that's not a circle, that's a cage. It's a cage to stay the same. Guys, these seven things that I just gave you are things that will allow you, I think, number one, to make more money, and number two, kill all uh, toxicness in your life. Every day, I mentor and I coach people all around the country, right, all around the world, that literally wanna go to a new place. Guys, in the last five years in this journey, I built a nine-figure business. I have the most amazing marriage and I kick ass with my children. I'm in physically unreal shape. I have a circle of people around me. My life is a dream. I love hardship. I love learning. I'm obsessed with it. I am a freak with building the greatest leaders on planet Earth. If you're watching this and you're like, dude, and I don't care who you are. If you're watching this and you're like, dude, I wanna be the greatest leader on planet Earth, I literally know I was made for more and I have more potential. If you go down to the description box in this YouTube video below, there's a little link and it says coach with Andy Elliott basically. And it, it doesn't mean that you can, but it means what you can do is if you, if you feel like you have more potential, if you would like me to positively peer pressure you and push you and make you into the person that you know you can become, because look to your left, look to your right right now. Do you see that person next to you that wants you to become great and become a badass? If you don't have that, you need that person to become this. Below, when you click on that link, you're gonna fill out your name, your phone number, and your email. Very simple, make sure it's all correct. You're gonna answer about eight questions. When you answer these eight questions, I'm gonna review these eight questions, and if I feel like you align with the same thing that I align with, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours if you qualify. All I wanna know, if you had an opportunity to be pushed, positively peer pressure to become the greatest version of yourself, become the greatest leader on planet Earth, become financially free, become rich in life, and have a rich life, okay? If you feel like that's you and you don't have what you want and you wanna keep that edge, go to the link below, click on it, it's very simple, answer the eight questions, make sure information is correct, and then if it looks like uh, we're meant for each other, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I've dropped this training for free so that you can see that there's a version of you inside of yourself that you haven't met yet. And every single day, your job is to recreate and become greater. Okay? I believe in you guys. I love you. See you in the next video.